My name is Ken Liu. My pilot call sign is Flying Bear, and I'm a drone racing pilot. Right now, we are on Governor's Island in New York City, and we are here for the 2016 Drone Nationals. What we like to do for racing is first-person view flying. So we have a camera inside of the drone, and this allows us to see from their perspective, like we're sitting in the cockpit of a plane, and it's really immersive and a great experience. It's, there's nothing else like it. The first time I did it, I remember it really clearly because it was traumatizing. Um, for one, I did a hand launch while I had the goggles on, which is terrible. Don't ever try to do that. Because you have this weird out-of-body experience, and like I'm living in two places at once. It's really strange. But I was lucky, and I completed that entire flight without crashing. By the end of it, my hands were shaking and I was sweating like mad. <laughs> I brought uh, my favorite racing frame. It's the Shendrones Mixuko. It's a five-inch frame with a 3D printed pod. And this frame is lightning fast and accelerates really quickly because it has a small footprint in the air. So there's really low drag and it just cuts through the wind. There are three major components to a racing drone. And we start with a carbon fiber plate. The second system is the powertrain. Um, so that includes the motors, the electronic speed controllers, which deliver their power, and the power distribution board inside, which takes the power from the battery pack and sends it to each of the four motors. Uh, the third system is the video camera system, and that also includes a wireless video transmitter and an antenna. So those are the three main systems. All of those three things combined gives us the experience of flying like a bird. I think a lot of people easily would say their favorite thing is flying, um, but I also love to build. So I'm constantly building and tinkering in the garage. I'm a product design engineer, and I design consumer electronics. A lot of the knowledge I pick up at work spills over into building and optimizing the design of a drone for racing. I started programming firmware and software on these and things I'd never done at work. And now I've actually found that I've learned so much about building electronics that now at work when hardware engineers are talking to me, I can understand a little bit more about what they're saying. Before it kind of went in one ear, not the other. <laughs> Drone racing right now is a growing sport, but it's definitely not at the point where I feel like I can quit my job and uh, just race full time yet. I burn up all of my vacation time and my team members think I'm crazy, <laughs> but it's something I love to do, so I'm just gonna keep doing it and having fun.